Well folks, another adventure out here. So, Western Solent again, and uh, I'm still chasing this Stingray. So I'm determined I'm gonna get one this year. So uh, here I am again. So it's a Friday afternoon, fishing through the Friday night, probably gonna have a few hours kip overnight, back up in the morning, and uh, have another go sort of thing, see how we get on. It's quite bumpy at the moment, it's not particularly uh, lumpy, just swelly more than anything else, but uh, it's quite a strong tide in 20 foot of water. Actually, sorry, tell a lie, 23 foot of water. And uh, the weed's okay at the moment. I thought I might get a load of weed, but it's all right, it's not too bad. Glorious, absolute glorious day, sunshine, beautiful. So, rig wise, just a normal running ledger again. So, swivel and I'm going for nice and bright stuff today. I've got about four, three and a half foot, something like that. Just thought I had a bite on me, have a rod then. Size 3 hook. work. Running ledger with the Termilink as the uh, runner. And again, swivel, turn me link at the top to my main line. Just keep an eye on that. And that's it. So it free, with the old turn me link, as you can see, flies along. I much prefer that than the zip slider, to be honest with you. It's not so bulky. So uh, I believe the turn me link's got slightly bigger holes now, which is making a massive difference. I think I bought the early edition ones, which are not so big in the holes. But these seemed a lot bigger in the holes, so they slide really well. So, as I said, plenty of colour today, Lumi lid as well. See what happens. If it don't happen, then I might change rounds to normal leads. You know, maybe too much colour, they can see it, and it ain't going to happen. But I think I've got a bite on. Here we go. It's just livened up a little bit now. I reckon it's going to be a smoothie the way it's darting around the back of the boat here. Again, I've done it again. I've not even got my landing net out. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's a smoothie. Oh, it's pretty feisty. I'm going to take a chance on this one and get it on the back of the boat without the net. It's not a massive smoothie, but I'll take my chances. I may lose this, lose this. who knows. on the floor and calm it down. Crikey. It all, and that always the way. When you're doing something different, the old rod goes. Right, let's find my disgorger. Oh, I'm not organised at all what's, whatsoever at the moment. Oh, I know where it is. It's in my cool box. Not the biggest, but there we go, first fish of the day. Nice little starry smooth round. He's only a pup really, only, only a few pounds. But nevertheless, there we go. Let's get it back. Wow, another little species. The old dogger. Oh, look at him feisty. Nice little dogfish. Let's get him back. 
Well, I've decided that I'm going to bung another rod out and try for bass as well. So, bunging the mackerel head on straight through the nose so the hook's pointing outwards. So, once the bass grabs it, straight onto it, and we're away. Normally, a mackerel head's pretty good for the old bass, so uh, we'll give it a go, see what happens. I'm going to try for some sole a bit later on, but I thought I'd bung a mackerel head on first and uh, see how we get on. It's all getting a bit of a tangle here now. What's going on? Well, folks, you know how long I've been waiting for a stinger. This must be my fifth or sixth trip. Easy, easy. But look what I've caught. Let me show you. I've left it on the deck. I'm going to sort it all out in a minute and get it all and get the hook out and get going, sort of thing. But I just want to quickly show you. So there it is. It's a chunky old thing. So I've just left up my dive platform and I was going to go and unhook it, but I wanted to make sure that uh, I captured it and uh, go from there. So it gave me a hell of a fight. I didn't think it was a ray. I've never had a stinger, so I don't know how stingers went. But I thought it was a smoothie at first, I must admit. But target achieved. I'm getting a few bites now, so I'll get it back in the water and see what's going on. I've got another run, something decent here. It's running like you wouldn't believe. It's a real nice cracker as well. Now, is this another stingray? I don't know. But it's going well, it's going well. It's gone right over that way, so it's sort of going to the side of the boat and I'm conscious I've got other rods out as well, so I don't really want to get hooked up on the other lines. But uh, yeah, I'm fishing out the side of the boat now. So it's coming, it's coming this way, wherever it is. Let's have a look, I reckon it's going to go for a dive in a minute. Oh, it's another smoothie. Another smoothie. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Very nice. Right, I'll just get it round the other rods now. That's the next thing. Right, let's get the net out. Oh, it's all going wrong here. Come on, get round, get round. I think I'll go this way. There we go. No, give me a bit of chip and let's go back around the other way. Well, there we are, folks. That was going, it was going to be the run around one of these beauties. I've had quite a few of these now, I've not shown all of them, but they're good fighting. Good fighting fish, good fun, really good fun. But it's just one of those evenings, it seems to be doing really well today. I don't know why, but it just goes like that, doesn't it, fishing? Let's get it back. Get a load of taps. It's absolutely annihilating my, ba annihilating my bait. I think it's bream. It's getting a little bit frustrating, really, because I really want to keep that worm some more stingrays and uh, yeah it's just annihilating it but I'm trying to get one as well get a bream at the same time but probably haven't got the right hooks for it really but uh, we keep at it I hope the other one's going here we go this one's for the squid and, and uh, macroid what have we got here? Ah, uh, it's a dogger. Good old dogfish. Really dark they are, really dark. Let's get them on board. It's not bad size either. Here 
there we go. It's not it's quite dark actually. It's a bit darker than normally uh, down the eastern Solent, but let's say we're at the western Solent, but they seem a lot darker. So I can only assume it's a bit more rockier, maybe in darker ground. But yeah, nice to see a dogfish, isn't it? Let's get it back. About the same sort of stamp. My God! So the other rod's going now. So he's a little tap, tap, tap again. Nightmare, isn't it? Absolute nightmare at times. Great, though, isn't it? Absolute great when you get all this action. I think it's had my bait, you know. See what happens. Let's have a check at the bait. Well, yeah, might as well. There we go, look. Bear rook. Annihilated it. Let's have another go at them. If not, I might put some smaller hooks on one of the other rods actually and see if I can get a breed. Well, folks, it's time to put the sole rig on. It's just starting to go, get dark. The sun's going down in, in the west. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd put the sole rig out. So, there's my rig. So, it's just a clip, clip, clip swivel there for the weight. A couple of beads, swivel, trace of about 12 inches with a couple of lead shot on them, like the old freshwater boys do. They're not lead, but you know what I mean. A small size four hook and then <clears throat> another couple of beads and another trace again with a couple of uh, shot as well there and a swivel just so I can put my termalink to the main line on there so that's my rig and that's how I use for sole so th the idea is the shot absolutely nails it to the ground the sole like the bait to absolutely nail to the ground because if it's floating up in the air and all over the place charging around you tend to not get them so much you will get them but that definitely works better having that so there we go let's get it in and see what happens well these pesky things are still around nice to see but they're robbing my bait blind it is a nightmare sort of thing. I want to keep my bait for the old stingers, but these little things keep coming along and nabbing them away. Anyway, I had it on my uh, sole rig and uh, get it back. These little beauties are still pestering me. They're not bad size either. That's a good three quarters of a pound, pound, something like that. But look at that. It's, it's dark. I know it looks fairly light in the camera, but it is dark. But uh, Oh, nice, it's just shat on me as well. Look at that. Great, isn't it? Anyway, I'm getting this thing back. Well, it's five o'clock. Start fishing again. I had to stop fishing last night. The bream were annihilating my bait. I was going to have none left. So, uh, packed it in, went to bed. Thought get up early, five o'clock this morning. And look what it's turned up. First fish of the day. The bream again and again they're annihilating me and they're all about the same sort of stamp to be honest with you they are keepers you could eat these but i'm gonna put it back well i've switched all gear over to my light kit the bream have absolutely come in it, it takes a matter of minutes before you get nibbles and both rods to go at the same time. It's, there's plenty down there. So uh, both rods in the water. Got my little uh, Shimano um, bait runners on. And there we are. It's probably been in a minute and a half, if that. And you watch that tip go.
There we go. Loads of nibbles like that. Plenty of them. I'll let it, I'll let it materialise a little bit. And then we'll have a little hook up. He's having a good go at that. Let's take the rod out of the older. He's still there, still nibbling. Step. Oh, they're frustrating at times. Frustrating. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll see if I can catch this one and show it on camera. Well, there she is, look, the bream, that's what I'll show you. This one's got a bit of a deformity on the mouth, actually, so it looks like it's had a, an attack of some sort, or maybe a birthing one, but there we go. It just goes over the pound, about a pound and three quarters on the scales. So there we go, absolute cracker. I'm gonna keep this for the table, this one. I've got both rods going at the moment. Absolutely mad it is for bream at the moment. Absolutely mental. I don't know if you can see that. That one's going on the left hand side. I'll go with that one. Literally, they are down in minutes. And on got bites. There must be truckloads of bream down there. Most of them are quite small. But uh, good fun, though. Really good fun. It's only uh, about half six in the morning now, sort of thing. So it's still really early. It's a lovely morning, absolutely lovely morning. But the bream have been ill last night. Bait robbing my uh, worm that I wanted for my stingers. I've now run out of worm, I've completely gone the worm. So I'm just on the uh, squid, using the last of the squid up. The mackerel's all gone. Uh, so that, that's pretty much it, really. So yeah, just having a little bit of fun with the old bream. I've kept two so far, and. Uh, We'll see if we can get some more to take home and uh, bung on the barbie. Do like a bit of bream on the barbie, I must admit. But they can be a little bit frustrating at the time, these bream. They, they, they do a little nibble and you miss them and you miss them. I've got nice small looks on. But as you say, good fun. Absolute good fun. Well, the breaming's uh, pretty much stopped now. It's been non-stop action all morning. Been great fun doing it. And uh, just thought to show you my biggest one uh, this morning. So there it is, a nice sort of uh, black bream there. Two pounds and a quarter that weighed in at it, if only. Uh, yeah, more than happy with that, wasn't expecting that. This is actually my biggest bream this year. I targeted the bream, um, back at the beginning of the year and I don't think I did get as big as this to be fair but you know never mind something to think about for next year I might come to this mark next year instead of going down the, the Salesy mark and all the rest of it like I normally do for the bream I might try the West Solent see how it goes because there's a lot of rocky ground here and I must admit you don't normally get the bream like this down the Salesy this time of year so something to think about anyway there we go 
I'm going to make a move in a minute down to the eastern side and back home. But before I go home, I'm going to do a little bit of mackerel. I'm just waiting for the tide to turn. I always like to try and go with the tide. It just saves on so much fuel. Um, and uh, the price of fuel is dear, as everyone knows. So that's what I'll do. But anyway, there we are. Nice to be having. <laughs> 